What's going on guys? Check out the cinematic snowboarding edit. At the end of the video, I'll tell you about the equipment I used, how I set it up, and everything I did to capture this video. Here's the setup we captured that video with. So this is a full frame DSLR, uh, kind of old, obsoleted body, but we still have the, um, the depth of field of that full frame and the lens here. This is uh, an F1.8 Sony lens here, um, 50 millimeter. You need to make sure to use a filter like this, a neutral density filter. What that does is that allows you to keep your aperture as open as possible, which creates that shallow depth of field. This item right here is a fluid head, which that makes a big difference. Okay, so there's the, the number to it. You can't do a shoot like this on crazy unlevel surfaces without something to keep your camera level, which is what this item does that's separate from everything else. And then we've got our slider. I shot this at 59.94 frames per second, and the final project came out as 23.98. That way I could slow-mo down to 40% without diminishing my video. You know, I really love doing follow cam footage, but it's a completely different skill set. Chasing another rider around, keeping them in frame, keeping your shot stay one steady. Um, this, it, it takes a lot of time. You have to really um, be meticulous about your settings, you have to plan your shots, uh, work with people more. So it's a lot of fun for those who are, you know, really like to bring the artistic creative side out of their video production. I would recommend getting yourself a lower budget DSLR camera, getting out and just getting your hands dirty and starting to capture cool shots. This was the first time 
I did a shoot like this with this setup and I learned a lot of lessons. There's things I would definitely do different and better next time, but I wouldn't know if I didn't get out there and capture these shots in the first place. So get out there and have some fun.